Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. In this module, we are going to study about bioindicators. As the name suggests, the word bioindicator is derived from two words, bio and indicators. Bio means living things and indicators means to indicate something. Therefore, bioindicator is any living thing which is helpful in the determination of any environmental stress, disturbance or any change in the environment which is harmful for our environment. Bioindicators are also helpful in, the, helpful in the indication of air, water or soil pollution and he hence help in the conservation of our nature. In this module, we are going to cover characteristics of bioindicators, various, cl various classes into which they are classified, relevance of bioindicators for our ecosystem, importance of bioindicators, the applications of bioindicators in the environment and various advantages and disadvantages of the bioindicators. The term bioindicator refers to any organism, species, communities or biological process which help to qualitatively monitor the status of the environment in which they live by means of their function as well as their population. Any changes in the population status, behavior or physiology of such organisms can predict the occurrence of any environmental change or problem within an ecosystem. They also provide information about the health of an ecosystem since they are very sensitive to any variation in their surroundings and are helpful in the monitoring of ecological changes. Bioindicators are designated as species which respond to any anthropogenic impacts on the environment that is the impacts which are caused due to human beings. Bioindicators are also helpful in the assessment of the quality of the environment and how it changes over a given period. Various species of plants, animals, algae, mollusks, zooplanktons, phytoplanktons, insects, etc. can act as bioindicators. Even human nail and hair can also act as bioindicator. Bioindicators are helpful in monitoring the quality of air, soil and water in any region and hence they are helpful in assessment of the overall biodiversity. Bioindicators also play a significant role in nature conservation by determining the progress of mitigative measures implemented for environmental conservation. Bioindicators also provide adequate as well as reliable information about any environmental disturbance very quickly which might be difficult to acquire or compute in, a, in such a quick manner using any other means. Bioindicators are helpful in a number of situations and we categorize them into three different situations which are whenever it is impossible to measure the indicated environmental factor, when the measurement of the indicated factor is very difficult and when the measurement of the environmental factor is possible and easy but the interpretation is quite difficult. The given figure explains that any disturbance or stress on, uh, in the environment causes a stress or disturbance in the organisms and various changes are seen in their reproduction, growth as well as development and hence they are helpful in bioindication of any environmental change. Characteristics of bioindicators An ideal bioindicator requires certain characteristics to be classified as a bioindicator which are wide distribution, high abundance in the environment, site specificity, high sensitivity, cost effectiveness and being robust while handling. It should also have restricted mobility along with a low genetic as well as ecological variability. It should also accumulate as well as concentrate the toxins to measurable levels. Its response should be representative of the responses of the other taxa as well as ecosystem as a whole. Also the sampling, sorting as well as the storage of the bioindicator should be simple. It should have an environmental significance and economic importance. The figure explains various characteristics of the bioindicators which are social importance, practicability, abundance, representativeness, specificity as well as sensitivity. Classification of bioindicators. Bioindicators can be classified into three different categories on the basis of aim of bioindication, application of bioindicators and according to International Union of Biological Sciences. On the basis of aim of bioindication, bioindicators are classified into four categories. Early warning indicators, compliance indicators, diagnostic indicators and accumulation indicators. On the basis of application of bioindicators, they are classified again classified into 
four different categories which is environmental bio indicators ecological bio indicators biodiversity bio indicators and pollution bio indicators according to international union of biological sciences bio indicators are classified into six categories which are microbiology botany zoology cell biology and genetics comparative physiology and hydrobiology based on the aim of bio indication early warning bio indicators early warning bio indicators are the first ones to show any sign of disturbance in the environment and they reveal signs before most of the other species are affected and hence they are very quick and sensitive to any changes in the environment compliance bio indicators these bio indicators are helpful in confirming the accomplishment of maintenance or restoration goals for example measurement of fish characteristic is a bio indicator for the sustain sustainability of the population or community of as a whole diagnostic bio indicators these bio indicators are helpful in the examination of detected environmental changes or disturbances these bio indicators are generally measured on the individual or sub organismal level accumulation bio indicators these bio indicators are helpful in studying the effects on different biological organizations for example mosses lichens etc based on different applications of bio indicators environmental bio indicator these are the species which respond to any disturbance in the environment and thus reveal the signs of any environmental change or disturbance they help in the diagnosis of the environmental status for making any environmental policy examples of these types of bio indicators are animals macro invertebrates sentinels etc ecological bio indicators these are the species which are very sensitive to fragmentation of the habitat pollution or other disturbances or stresses in the environment for example lichens plant indicators etc biodiversity bio indicators these species are indicators for measurable parameters of the biodiversity such as genetic parameters landscape parameters etc and they represent the species richness of a community for example animals plants and microbial indicators pollution bio indicators as the name suggests they are helpful in the detection of the presence of pollutants in a region for example animals and plants indicators microbiology microbes are very quick detectors for any changes in the environment as well as different pollutions such as soil and water pollution some microbes are helpful in the decomposition of some pollutants while some of them are very sensitive to some toxins or harmful substances the reduction in the population of the sensitive species or an increase in the population status of the tolerant species as a result of the presence of some toxic substances in the environment indicate changes which are taking place in the environment and thus are the indicators of any environmental stress or disturbance various microbes which act as bio indicators are oil spillage or oil pollution can be detected by yeast actinomycetes some filamentous fungi as well as some bacteria presence of pesticides in the soil can be detected using cyanobacteria for example nostoc microscopicums variations induced in the marine environment are indicated using e coli pseudomonas clostridium streptococcus etc the presence of sulfur can also be indicated using bio indicators and the microbial muds from the continental as well as intercontinental water bodies are helpful in the detection of sulfur botany different groups of plants are helpful in indicating the changes in the environment as we all know that plants are uh, classified into two categories that is lower plants and higher plants and both of them are indicators of any environmental stress as well as any disturbance lower plants both short term as well as long term effects can be detected on the basis of appropriate choice of organisms for example lichens algae fungi etc tolerance level or resistance towards a substance in the environment varies according to the species lichens are considered ideal monitoring agents because of their extreme sensitivity to the toxins which are present in the air high surface area to volume ratio 
which further leads to the accumulation of toxins or contaminants from the air and cost effectiveness. Various algae are also used in environmental monitoring, lichens as bioindicators. Lichens are considered as ideal bioindicators or monitoring agents due to their vulnerability and resilience to different environmental effects. Some lichens can bloom only in fresh or unpolluted air, while there are some lichens which are resistant even to very polluted air. Lichens can be used to monitor the quality of air by measurement of various types of air pollutants such as the content of fluoride and chloride in them, ozone content, heavy metal accumulation and the presence of radionuclides etc. The lichen Lecanora are very good biological indicators for a wide spectrum of environmental changes. Lichens can be used for the indication of presence of sulfur dioxide and fluorine in the atmosphere, presence of re some radionuclides specifically cesium-137, strontium-30 which are released during nuclear explosions. Presence of ozone is also indicated using lichens. Lichen thalli can absorb fluorine and heavy metals including lead even when they are dead. Various species of algae as bioindicators are also there which are viva and entromorpha are used for monitoring the water quality of estuaries. Cladophora and stygiolonium is helpful in the indication of presence of heavy metal pollutants in the water bodies. Chlorella is helpful in the monitoring of presence of various toxic substances in the water bodies. Oil pollution is also indicated using various algae and some of them are Skeletonema costatum, Amphigivan cartrere and Pavlova lutheri. Higher plants are also used as bioindicators and a wide range of higher plants serves as bioindicators and they are helpful in the monitoring of air pollution by some sensitive species and soil conditions by some tolerant species. Pollution by various heavy metals such as cobalt, copper, zinc, cadmium, lead, mercury, molybdenum, manganese, silver, etc. and some gaseous pollutants such as sulfur dioxide, ozone, nitrogen oxides are also indicated using higher plants. Higher plants also serve as pollutant scavengers. The plants serve as ideal monitoring agents due to their phenotypic, metabolic and anatomical changes which take place on susceptibility to any environmental change. The type of changes in the plants help in the determination of the nature of the compounds to which they are exposed and some of the physiological and anatomical changes in the plants include the effects on the nature of stomata, pigmentation, chlorosis and bleaching. Some plant species and the metals they tolerate are anthrocyanthum species is tolerant to zinc, egg rust is tolerant to copper, festuca is tolerant to lead and otlamsium species is highly tolerant to calcium. Zoology, the information about accumulation of chemicals in the animals and their role as efficient bioindicators can be achieved by the study of both individual species as well as the whole communities. Accumulation in animals occurs in different degrees in different organs which allows more effective choices for choosing suitable indicator species. Marked changes have been seen to be induced in the development and reproduction of particular species on being subjected to environmental stress as well as pollution. The bioindicators in animals also take place by the accumulation of chemicals within food chains which further is responsible for biomagnification. Different animals which are indicators for different types of pollution are fish, daphnia, silver carp. These are indicators of heavy metal and pesticide pollution in water. Zooplanktons such as rotifers and cladrocerins are indicators of fresh waters. Earthworms are indicators of radioactive pollution in the soil and frogs are indicators of the health of the biosphere. Human system as bioindicators. Human cells, tissues, organs, organ system, etc. 
also act as effective indicators of environmental stress. The presence of toxic compounds can be indicated by human blood as well as urine. For example, human hair from head can trap metallic vapors and dust over a long period of time due to their affinity of these substances with the hair protein. Cell Biology and Genetics The degree of tolerance, vulnerability and compliance in living organisms to various environmental factors and states are controlled by their characteristics, genetic composition and physiological states. The process of biomonitoring can also be effectively carried out by the examination of cellular and subcellular components of the living systems including chromosomes. Any chromosomal or genetic damage precisely indicates the extent of certain mutagenic agents in the environment. In resistant organisms, which are very tolerant to toxic substances, a degradation of the pollutant may take place and thus they make excellent indicators of environmental stress. Comparative Physiology The sense organs and the other organ systems in various animals show behavioral responses on exposure to any kind of environmental stress or disturbance. A chemical may affect the functioning of various systems such as endocrine, nervous, muscular, cardiovascular and excretory systems. Such changes may be examined at morphological, biochemical or physiological levels in an organism and thus can indicate the presence of toxic substances in the environment. Hydrobiology, macrobenthos as well as biota living in the aquatic system can be useful in the indication of quality of various water bodies. Biotic index in any water body is one such parameter for the purpose of biomonitoring. Relevance of bioindicators The biological relevance of any bioindicator is determined by certain characteristics which are little natural variability, stimuli to environmental stress, specificity, sensitivity and the acquisition of biologically valid as well as measurable changes. An early warning indicator of any disturbance is considered as the most useful indicator but a very sensitive response may lead to a false indication of very minor or biologically invalid changes and thus may not be considered relevant. An ideal bioindicator reflects any irreversible damage as well as measurable changes. The importance of bioindicator Bioindicators are very important for ecological systems and are helpful in assessing human and ecological health, monitoring water quality, monitoring air quality and monitoring biodiversity. The ecological importance of bioindicators. Bioindicators help in the determination of environmental changes, monitoring the level of pollution and its effects and the health of ecosystem as a whole. For instance, the increasing levels of eutrophication and organic loading on reefs can be indicated by coral bioeroders, especially sponges. Bleached, broken corals or coral mortality are the indicators of any past stress on the coral reefs. Monitoring water quality using bioindicators. Bioindicators are helpful in efficient and cost effective determination of water quality. For instance, the toxins in water inhibit the cellular metabolism of bioluminescent bacteria and thus it affects the intensity of light which is emitted by that bacteria and which makes it a suitable bioindicator of the water quality. A decrease in the population status of zooplankton community and some macroinvertebrates such as bugs reflects a degradation of the water quality. Some tolerant bioindicator species can also thrive in polluted waters due to their ability to breathe at the water surface. For example, annelid worms or red midge larvae. Monitoring air quality using bioindicators. Assessment of air quality using bioindicators provides an early warning of sites which are vulnerable to deposition of any air pollutant. Some of the methods which are helpful in air quality assessment using bioindicators are epiphytic macrolichen frequency, chemical analysis of mosses and analysis of community composition. 
monitoring biodiversity using bioindicators. Bioindicators are potentially beneficial tools in the accomplishment of conservation goals. For instance, the disappearance of some noticeable animals such as birds, butterflies and mammals can play a major role in the monitoring of forest ecosystems. Bioindicator species can also be effectively used as a conservation tool to recognize biodiversity hotspots which are extremely important for our environment. Conservation of some taxa which for example keystone species provides the advantage of protection of other taxa species or the complete biodiversity. Applications of bioindicators. The bioindicators provide a wide range of applications which are indication of water quality as well as water pollution. For example, the presence of E. coli in water indicates the pollution of water with fecal matter. Assessment of air pollution, for example, the lichen thalli indicates the presence of fluorine in the atmosphere. Easy and accurate determination of an environmental disturbance or stress can also be carried out using a bioindicator. Therefore, bioindicators are helpful in the assessment of environmental quality. They are also helpful in maintenance of the health of the ecosystem. The level of eutrophication in the water bodies can also be indicated using bioindicators. For example, the presence of alkyl blooms in a water body is the indicator of presence of nitrates and phosphates in the water. Measurement of soil pollution can also be carried out using bioindicators. For example, cyanobacteria are used for the bioindication of presence of soil pesticides. Monitoring of biodiversity and the conservation of ecosystem is also carried out using bioindicators. Advantages of bioindicators. Now we will talk about various advantages of bioindicators, which are they are relevant as well as reliable agents for environmental monitoring. They are very cost effective. The interpretation of the bioindicators are easy to interpret and they are susceptible to less ambiguity. They are feasible as well as simple as well as repetitive techniques are used for bioindicators. The disadvantages of bioindicators. A number of limitations are experienced in en environmental monitoring using bioindicators, which are presence of sufficient number of individuals of the indicator species at a given locality and sufficient information about the physiological processes of uptake and accumulation of toxic substances or environmental contaminants in the indicators. Bioindicators are biological tools which are helpful in the determination of any stress or disturbance which is taking place in the environment. Any living thing could serve as a bioindicator provided it possesses certain characteristics. Bioindicators are helpful in the determination of quality of water, air as well as soil. The studies which involve bioindicators are very simple and repetitive and they can be carried out by different individual in different environmental conditions. Bioindicators can also be used for the assessment of very large areas. Thus, bioindicators provide early warning of any environmental damage and they are helpful in early environmental recovery. Overall, bioindicators are helpful in ecosystem conservation. Thank you.